prophets, what they do, they make dua, they make dua, they make dua. And Allah, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said, Allah, He loves it or He accepts His dua of His servant, malam yasta'jil. As long as that servant hasn't become hasty. This is a hadith, yeah, I think in either Tirmidhi or Abu Dawood, one of the two. So the Sahaba said, Messenger of Allah, how is the person hasty? So here the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, He said what? He said, as long as the person says, as long as the person carries on doing dua and he doesn't say this, he doesn't say, I made dua to Allah and Allah never accepted it. That's being hasty. You start saying, I made dua to Allah so many times and this dua got, never got accept, accepted. Who are you? Who are you? Because Allah Azawajal does three things for you in return of the dua that you just made. One of three things. One of three things He will do for you. Number one, Either Allah will give to you what you just asked for. Number two, you didn't get what you asked for, but Allah will give you something in return of that. Something else in return. Oh, He will save, save you from an affliction. He'll save you from an affliction. You didn't even know. It. You made dua that, oh Allah, oh Allah, please, please. Oh Allah, I want this thing. And I want, I want this thing or this, this job. I want this job. I want this job. You're making that dua. Allah never gave you that job for whatever other reasons as well. But what He did is He saved you from another musibah somewhere else because of that dua, or He gave you some other dua, other thing. It might not even be a job. Job. It might be something else Allah gave you. And the third thing, the best of all things, is you never got anything at all in this dunya. You can say, "What? I made dua all my life. I never got anything in this dunya. What? <laughs> On the day of judgment, some brothers will come and they will see right next to them." This in hadith, hadith of Ahmed. A person will see right next to him, he will see mountains. Mountains full of reward. Now this guy sees mountains full of reward and he, he thinks, nah man, I didn't even live that long to get these mountains full of reward. They can't be mine. And he's looking at his little piles next to him. So then long time passes by, no one comes to claim their mountains full of reward. And then the person says, oh Allah, oh Allah, just a question, what my servant? He said, these mountains full of rewards, who are they for? Allah says, for you, my son. He says, for me. Allah, for me. For me. You know, the guy's thinking, how, how is it possible that I get so much reward? Allah says, my servant, my servant. You were in the dunya, while you were in the dunya, you used to make dua to me. I never accepted your dua. That dua you used to make to me every single day. Every day you used to make dua to me. I never accepted it. But what I did in return is I gave you reward. And I kept on giving you reward for the dua that you used to make to me. And today those duas are mountain full of reward. Those duas you made that you never got mountain full of reward. And he will say, Oh Allah, oh Allah. He will say to Allah, what would he say? He's speaking on our behalf, guys, if you understand that, yeah? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa can't tell your name, he can't say my name, he can't say your name, but some of us are in this situation. He say, Oh Allah, oh Allah, in that case, why did you accept any of my duas? In that case, O oh Allah, why didn't you reject all of my du'as in the world? Reject all of them so that I would get plenty more mountain fools on the Day of Judgment. If only we understood what Allah is doing to us and what is beyond our faith.